I'm Joshua Riley with Midwest Outdoors. Dove season's about to open here in Illinois, so today I'm out shooting my different chokes. I'm gonna find the best pattern that works for me. I'm gonna start off with the improved cylinder. I'm gonna take a couple shots right now. Improved cylinder will open up your pattern and that allows more BBs at a wider spread. So I like to use that starting off the season. Doves are small, doesn't take much to knock them down. And let's face it, we're all a little rusty when, when we start off. Let's take a walk down there and check it out right now. As you can see here, my shot pattern's pretty wide. We're about 20 yards right now. So this is plenty to go ahead and knock doves down. All right, well that's the improved cylinder. Now I'm gonna go put in my uh, full choke and see how that does. So the difference between an improved cylinder and full, the full choke's gonna give me a tighter pattern and that will allow me to get more range. Even from that, from this distance, I could tell that's way better. A lot more pellets in the target. So as you can see with a full choke, uh, you do get more pellets in the target and you do get more range out of it, but you do sacrifice. I mean, you do have to be more dead on your target as like improved cylinder, it widens, less BBs, but it widens your uh, pattern. So you can be off a little bit and probably knock more birds down with the improved, but as you can see with the full, you can get a lot more pellets. All right, last one I'm gonna shoot is a modified choke. I like the, this gun, I always keep a modified in it. This should be in between an improved cylinder and a full choke. So let's take a couple shots, see how we do. So even from 20 yards away, I could tell there's a lot more pellets in this target, a lot less on the cardboard. Typical doves, around 11 inches. Uh, critical target on the doves, like six to eight. So as you can see from this target, I can tell exactly how many pellets are gonna be lethal on that dove. Well, as you can clearly see, there's big difference in choke tubes. Uh, it's improved cylinder. This is full and this is modified. Uh, starting off the season, I'm gonna admit, it's been a while since I shot, so I'm gonna better my chances. I'm gonna go with the improved cylinder. That way I have a wider spread pattern and maybe I can knock down some more birds. Now that I'm patterned in, dove season opens this weekend. I'll see you out in the field. That takes skill to shoot their tails off. Ah, <laughs> oh, he's going down. There he goes. Come right at you, ref. <laughs> Anyhow. <laughs> well, good morning, everybody. We're down here in Hershey, Illinois. I'm here with my friends Josh O'Reilly and Mark Carlson. Uh, it's opening day of dove season, and doves are flying in, and we're going to have a good day. Took three shots, but I got them. <laughs> yep. Tap it. Oh, see the feathers flying. Good two shot. Two for two. Two for two. Over top, Ryan. Oh crap. Over the top. So every so often, as we're hunting, we come out and do a quick cleanup just so we can get a good dove count. Uh, it's 15 dove per person and out here we get mostly morning doves but we will get a few eurasians while we're out here too the morning dove is a little bit smaller it's a little bit darker in color the eurasians it's it's a lot bigger and it have a black spot on its neck where they have this black ring and they're a lot they're a little bit larger than the morning dove the average dove is about 11 inches long and your strike zone is about six to eight inches long so you need to know your pattern because we shoot about 35 yards I'm shooting pretty well today. Two out of three. But we start in the fall, we plant our wheat field, and they feed on the wheat for a little while until the sunflowers come up. Then they'll start feeding on the sunflowers. And after that, we'll come out here and we'll plow a little area 
to give them a nice dust bath area and grit so that way they can grind up the seeds that they're feeding on. Folks, I'm here with my father, Carl Cruz. He is a landowner, so how long have we been doing this? We uh, started this probably about 15 years ago. You know, it started out with about a handful of people and then and then guys brought their wives and then the kids started coming out. Uh, right now, I know there's at least two families, I think, that have uh, three generations out here, which is uh, great to see when the kids start coming out here and learning about how hunting too, so. Shot a lot of doves, had a lot of fun. I'd like to thank the Cruz family for having us back again. I'm Joshua Riley. Thanks for watching Midwest Outdoors.